Good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Well, no matter what time of day it is that you're watching this, my name is Clarissa Young and I'm your fab motivator. That's F-A-B. I have other women find acceptable balance when it comes to esteem, health, wellness, and prosperity. I'm also the author of Find an Acceptable Balance book to change the skills, to change the mind. And I am here, I'm here, I'm your fitness motivator. I am here, ready to come work out with you this morning. We got a few days before Christmas. It just does not even seem like Christmas is right around the corner. And so this morning, I'm like a lot of people probably off from work, right? And we just want to enjoy the holiday. We just want to have fun. So for this workout, we just going to dance. We got some wobble. We got the cha-cha slide. We got the whim. We got the bus stop. We have just different dances that we're going to do just to come in and have fun right before the holiday time. I got my Fitbit tracker on and the music. That's all I got this morning. That's all you need. Do me a huge favor, hit the bottom left share button, bottom left share button. Be sure to invite some people on here. Uh, and we're going to get started. Happy Monday. Let me say hi. Let me say hi. Good morning, Melody. Good morning, Mama. Good morning, Sally. Good morning, Sharmika. Good morning, Naomi. Good morning, Erica. Good morning, Kimberly. Good morning, Ronnie. Good morning, Denise. Good morning, Betty. Good morning, good morning, Lisa. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Tasha. Come on in, come on in. How y'all feeling? Like, can y'all believe that the holiday is like two days away? That just seems like unreal. Unreal. Let me make sure the light is good, right? You guys see me good? Good, good, good. All right. We're about to jump right into it. Good morning. Happy Monday. All right, let's get it. I need some energy. All right, remember. Cause I need y'all, they like to pray to tell me I'm in with the love of the pencil 
bottom left share button. Good morning, Josetta. Good morning, Donna. Mama did something. She tired. All right, get back up though. Let's go. Let's go. Good morning, Nishia. Good morning, Tasha. Good morning, Nakia. I'm giving us a break. Good morning. Give me a break. Good morning, <laughs> Brenda. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I think I got everybody. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for sharing. Let's get it. All right. Water breaks over. Who gonna have their moves ready for the Christmas party? Like, I know that. This is something new. The Cancer Slide Part 2. All right. Featuring the Platinum Band. And this time, we're Bring gonna get it. Two stumps. Left foot, two stumps. Slide to the left. 
Slide to the right. Crisscross. Crisscross. Cha cha, real smooth.
Here I go trying to be DJ Rissa. Don't know no songs. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I'm trying to figure it out. Good morning, Sakita. County, we don't have to worry about what song Facebook do or do not like. Make sure you're here. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna work out. And we're not gonna worry about what Facebook do or do not like. Alright, y'all. Somehow, Lord Jesus, help me. We got 10 minutes of freestyle. And I'm gonna put on the Afro beats because Facebook don't normally hate on me with the Afro beats. So we're gonna freestyle it. But again, um, I put it up starting, well, this Saturday we're working out, but starting January the 4th, we'll be inside of a building, we'll be working out live, a little bit of some of everything, you'll get to see another side of Clarissa that you don't really get to see here, and no worry about Facebook blockers. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, let's go. Let's do it.
Google and then we're gonna cool it down
watching this. My name is Clarissa Young. I'm the author of Finding a Separable Balance book to change your skills, to change your mind. Um, I'm your fab motivator. That's F-A-B. I help other women find acceptable balance when it comes to esteem, health, wellness, and prosperity. I'd like to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for liking, for commenting, for sharing this video, and joining me along my journey. Um, it's almost done. We're almost at the end of the year. We'll be back here. The next time I see you, we'll be, it'll be after Christmas. It'll be on Friday. I do have a new schedule that's coming up for our fab workouts. And so, um, stay tuned to that. There'll be a little less on social media and more in person. And so I'm super, super excited for that, especially for those that are in Broward County. If you're not in Broward County, no worry, because my goal is to be able to travel to this world and do so. And so you set up the event, you let me know, and I'm there. You have an event and you would like for me to come work out with you and your girls, whether if it's in a chair, whether if it's dancing, whether if it's just speaking, let me know, and I'm there. <laughs> okay, um, at the end of each video, I like to give a little bit of tips, motivation, and encouragement. Like this song says, there's hope. It doesn't cost a thing to smile. It doesn't cost a thing to smile. Um, continue to push, continue to do, continue to work toward your goals. We are around the corner from a new decade. Like I cannot believe, like it just still doesn't seem real to me like Christmas is in two days. Like this year has flown by, it has flown by. I ain't got no toys yet, Lord. I gotta go do it um, today. But I, I thank God for how he's come and shown up in our life over, not over the last couple of days, like always, always, you know. And so I just want to encourage anything that you got that you feel like you can't do, it might not be meant for you to do. It just might not be meant for you to do. Release it. 
release it. Um, you hear me talking about God quite often. If you follow me on my page, this is me, so this is what you get. Um, I know in certain businesses and certain things, they say don't talk this and don't talk that. I'm not trying to convince you and tell you which one is right or what's wrong, but I'm telling you what's been working and what's been helping me. Um, and so, of course, if I got something that helps me and is working, why not share it? And so I just want to say if there's anything that you found that you struggle with for the 2019 year and you've been trying everything to get it right, You've been trying everything, you find that you're sick, you find that you may be depressed, you find that you're tired, you find that you don't have energy, you find that finances aren't right. Whatever it is that you're finding that you struggle with so much in the 2019 year, that may be your sign that it's not for you to handle. That is your sign to say, okay, Lord, I surrender and I release it to you. It's a lot easier said than done to say you release something because we'll be like, I'm going to give it to you. But then we're still trying to find out so many other different little things. And so I'm working on learning that myself. If I'm being honest, I'm working on learning that myself. But I want you to, um, I'm setting goals for the 2019. For the 2020, I'm 2019, all right, I'm setting goals for the 2020. I'm being intentional, intentional with my business, intentional with my health, intentional with my marriage, intentional with my finances, intentional with my spiritual growth, intentional with the time that I'm able to spend with you guys. I'm trying to be intentional with everything because if you don't plan yourself, yourself will plan you and then that's when you look up and a whole year then went by a whole decade then went by and you say Sakina what did you do to make things go better you'll say Michelle what did you do to make things go better you'll say Anita what did you do to make things go better and if you didn't plan it you might look up and you might you might have got a few things done but if you was intentional if you was focused if you was lasered how much more could you have got done you know and so that's that's my goal for 2020 to become more organized, to become more structural, to believe in myself even more. You know, I know sometimes you're like, man, Clarissa, you got such high confidence. You got such good self-esteem. And the confidence is better to where it was, but I still don't know my full value yet if I'm being 100% honest. And so that's my goal for 2020, to step into Rissa, to step into that thing that God got planted into me and let it to be able to really come out and to believe in myself just as much as others believe in me, okay? And so I'm, I'm wishing the same for you. I'm wishing for 2020 that you step into you. You step into your greatness. You find your reason for being here and your reason for existing that any goals that you set out that you you set the task to be able to accomplish your goals and then when we come back on 2021 and we reflect we be like man 2020 was a great year it was a great year all right guys I love you. Thank you so much for sharing this video. Um, if you're looking for me, you can find me on my website, which is www.findingacceptablebalance.com. You can email me. You can check out my videos on YouTube as well. Clarissa Young, one of my YouTube channels. Okay, stepping into 2020. Let's get it, Miss Denise. Yes, yes, we stepping in it like. Where you at, 2020? Like, we ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for 2020. Like, it's, it's not to the point to where I'm like, I'm just done with 2019. Like, I'm still like, come on, 2019 ain't done. It's, it's, listen, 2019 is not done. It is not done. And all it takes is one person and one day to change your life. To change your life. Like, this is my thought. This is my mentality every day. Like, there's, there's people who, they woke up one day and didn't have nothing and then the next day that thing that they have been grinding on that seed that they have been planting and they've been watering like they told the story and i'm gonna get up off of here i was listening to some um i was listening to some audio stuff and they told the story of a um of a chinese bamboo tree of a chinese bamboo tree they says a chinese bamboo tree now I heard the story one time, so if I ain't 100% on point, then don't, don't beat me up, but get what I'm trying to tell you, okay? A Chinese bamboo tree, they said, takes five years to grow. I want to say it takes five, five years. T takes, takes five, we're going to put it this way, and then y'all go do the research and find out the right way. <laughs> Google Chinese bamboo tree, and we're going to say it takes five years to grow. But it grows all the way up to 90 feet. I do remember they said that. It grows all the way up to 90 feet. But however, like the first three years, like you don't see nothing. It's just in the ground. It's there. The seeds are there. It's in the ground. And it must be watered every day. It must be watered every day for the first three to five years. And it's there. And so 
You tell your friends, I'm I'm planting, and this is what they gave. I'm planting a Chinese bamboo tree. And then a year later, they're like, where your tree at, girl? You out there watering that tree every day? <laughs> we'll see nothing. You're like, nope, I'm, I'm watering. I'm watering my bamboo tree. Second year, come by. <clears throat> your, your tree up? Nope, not yet, not yet. I'm watering my bamboo tree. <clears throat> Third year has come by. Your tree up yet? Nope, but I'm here every day watering my bamboo tree. And then people start to doubt you. Maybe you start to doubt it. you like, man. This bamboo tree is supposed to be 90 feet. This is deep. I want y'all to catch it. This, dam this bamboo tree is supposed to grow to 90 feet, but I've been here planting it. I planted it. I've been here watering it daily. I've been doing everything I'm supposed to do daily. They told me I was going to be great. They told me I was going to be able to do big things. They said, Clarissa, you, gotta, you got something for you. Melody, you got something for you. You're going to be able to lose this weight. You're going to be able to do this thing. And I'm sitting here every day, and I'm watering, 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 watering it. And I don't see nothing. It's been one year, two years, three years, four years, and I don't see nothing. Now I'm starting to doubt. The people around me are starting to doubt. And there's nothing there, but I'm watering it every day. Then on that fifth year, that bamboo tree grows. And like within one year, it grows up to 90 feet. Research it, Chinese bamboo tree. When I heard it, I was like, wow, how many of us are watering our dreams, are watering our dreams and we're not seeing anything? And so I said all that to say that you never know. In two days, your tree may sprout. And so don't count 2019 out. In five feet, it will grow to the height of, in five weeks, it will grow to the height of five feet. Thank you, Miss Cynthia, for helping me out. So you, you sat there all that time and you was watering it. You was watering it and you didn't see anything. And then all of something, boom, and it just takes off. She said in five weeks, it grew five feet. We have, we have, we have nine days left in 2019. Do not count 2019 out. You never know. It may be one phone call. That's waiting on you. Hey, Ronnie, I've been seeing you working hard at that job, Miss Cynthia. I've been seeing you bust your butt. I've been seeing you come to work every day. I've been seeing you the last, the first one in and the last one out. Um, your supervisor, he decided that he's going to retire 20 years early, and we want to give you this position. Hey, Sakina, I, I, I know that, that you've been working and you've been taking care of those girls and I've been seeing how much you've been loving on them girls and how good you've been doing for them girls and I just want to let you know that I admire it and I want to pay for their college. I'm, I'm going to take care of everything. I'm going to pay for their college. You know, maybe, maybe they'll say, hey, Denise, hey, Denise, I, I've been seeing you. You know, you've been helping other people out. You've been going to do something, but I, I nominated you for this for this reward, and um, I've been seeing the car that you've been driving has has is, is not the new year, and I think with the things that you're doing, you deserve a, a 2021 car, and so just because I've been seeing that you've been faithful and how you've been helping people, I just want to step in and help you. Do not count 2019 out. Do not count 2019 out. We're getting ready for 2020, and we're going to go out with a bang, but all it takes is one day, one person, one call. To change your life same thing with your body even if you like i don't want none of that i just want better health that's all it takes that's all it takes is you've been planting this seed and then my god my god he come and work out some things and before you know it that thing that you've been praying for maybe you know a kidney a better heart knees that don't hurt like that thing that you've been praying for you never know you never know you could be one prayer away so continue to push, continue to pray. Do not count 2019 out, but let's plan for 2020. We all plan to be here for 2020, so let's plan for 2020 and stay proactive, stay persistent, have perseverance for 2019 because it's not over. Okay, guys? I love you, love you all so much. Love you all so much. I'll see you here on Friday. Enjoy your holidays with your loved ones, with your family. Remember the whole reason for the season, okay? Love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. I promise to go back and read the comments, too.